up. Just getting up in the morning. It's early. It's not that early. I'm just tired. We got in late last night about 1 o'clock. Um, outside of Branson, Missouri, on Lake Table Rock. A small town called Blue Eye. And um, just kind of chilling right now, getting my thoughts together. After getting some good sleep last night. We're staying in a beautiful place here in Blue Eye, up in the, in the hills. In the mountains, in the forest. Um, I'm going to give you guys a quick peek behind me. Take a look at that. It's the backyard. I mean, it's it's pretty gorgeous. Kind of an older style, resort style place we're staying this week. But it's it's nice. It's super different and uh, cozy. And it's going to be a good week. So, just wanted to check in with you guys. Early this morning before the fellows get here. Um, we got Adrian Avina, Jacob Wheeler, of course. And Dustin Connell this week. And I have my wife with me. Jacob has Alicia. And DC and Avina, I think, are solo. We tried to make just like a little family gathering type deal this week. Branson's a really nice town. A lot of resorts and a lot of touristy type stuff to do here in this area. So we thought we'd bring the ladies along. Let them have a good time while we run around and try to catch some bass. So I'm going to get outside and jump in the boat and start rumbling around with tackle try to get that all together and put together a master plan of how i'm gonna catch these bass this week here at table rock never been here before it's my first time so day and a half to run around on this ginormous fishery it's freaking huge go try to figure something out so stay tuned hopefully you have a great week here in branson missouri i'm looking forward to it Camera guy, hey, that's real. Hey, paper rock scissors, who takes it tomorrow? Let's go. Rock, paper, scissors, that's how it's paper, rock, scissors. Here at Table Rock, you got all three species. I think this is the first lake we fished this year, pretty sure, that you got all three species largemouth, spotted bass, and smallmouth. And so, the dynamic of what you're going to do is, or what you could potentially do is, man, it's, it's wide open. You know, um, but of course, not having a lot of experience here, you know, I need to just try to figure out a way to generate bites. I don't care what species they are. So, whatever I tend to lean towards, whether it's spot smallmouth or largemouth, it doesn't really matter per se because I need to get a lot of bites, right? This format of fishing is just about catching as many fish as you possibly can catch that are scoreable. And so, I think. This week you're gonna see a lot of spinning rods, a lot of drop shots, a lot of Ned rigs, um, a lot of wacky worms, a lot of top water, uh, and a lot of finesse style swim baits. I think that are, those are gonna be the key players really for all three species. Um, I'm sure there's gonna be some other things that play, flipping maybe a little bit. The water's high here on Table Rock, up in the bushes in a lot of places, and so that always makes for a decent flip bite. But I just don't see a, a guy getting a ton of bites flipping in this event you'll you might catch a couple big ones but i don't think you'll be able to keep up with a big stick but i could be wrong so we'll see um i, I will likely have a lot of spinning rods on deck casting around with a lot of finesse baits trying to generate as many bites as i can and a lot of top water baits um might be a shad spawn here uh, although the temperature is a little bit cooler than i would have thought you know it's like it got down to like 50 last night I haven't seen that since like February in Alabama. But up here, you know, it's a lot further north, higher altitude. It cools off a lot easier. Um, so there may be a shad spawn, there may not be. Uh, I think the fish are on the tail end of the spawn. So it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be uh anything goes this week. So my plan is to get out there and just fish freely, fish by the seat of my pants keep an open mind and uh try to try to generate as many bites as i possibly good morning folks we are out here this morning beautiful morning too check out the sunrise right here that's what it's all about right there 
getting ready to blast off here. Been looking at my maps, doing a little bit of research. We're gonna run around this morning, throw a bunch of top water. See if uh, see if we can get something to come up. I know a lot of these bass are just getting done spawning, so first thing to do after after the spawn is uh is chase top water for me. That's what I really love to do. Post spawn, the shad start spawning. These fish are looking to recover, they need to eat, and they get on the shad real, real heavy. So that's gonna be the plan here for this morning. We're gonna run around throw a lot of top water, and of course, as the day goes on, we're gonna do a little bit of everything. They wanna practice Table Rock Lake right now. Let's go. Hit a couple spots this morning, early, bunch of top water. Seen a little bit of surface activity, a little a couple of schooling fish and stuff like that, but nothing to really ride home about. Water temp's about 66, and so I peeked up shallow, real, real shallow, real quick, and I seen about four or five of them on bed already. And uh, I mean, that might that might be a player this week. You know, I, I really don't want to bed fish just because it's you get caught up, it's time consuming. Um, and you don't know who else found those bed fish, and you just kind of can't count on them. You know, if this was a different format, you know, I'd, I'd definitely look at the bed fish for sure. But uh, in this deal, I don't think it's going to be a good look. So we're going to keep looking, hunting and pecking, see what we can find. lake is full of these guys right here this is a Kentucky spot uh, different from like the Alabama spot they don't get huge but you know there's several of them in here you know that two to three pound class but we're gonna check them out and see just what we got here huh. what do you know a 110 so that's actually a scoreable bass and that's what I wanted to see I mean he looks he looks tiny when you look at him there's no doubt but you know, it's a scoreable bass, and that's what's important. You catch you 40 of these in a day, which sounds ridiculous, but it's possible. You'd be doing just fine. Thanks, buddy. All right, so we got the right size. Uh, well, not the right size, but not the wrong size either. <laughs> the old faithful TRD, man. This sucker. They can't stand it. I just caught a smallmouth right before that. That was about a pound and a half. And I caught a, uh, about a two and a half pound spotted bass on the drop shot. So, get some bites. Time for a little update. About halfway through the day. I've had probably 15 to 17 bites. Feel pretty good about it. A lot of uh, a lot of Kentucky spotted bass and a lot of smallmouth. I think I've only caught one largemouth today. I shook off several fish as well that I didn't know. You don't know what those are. I'm feeling good about practice thus far. It's the first day. A lot of bites to be had out here on Table Rock. I'm gonna have to really, really catch them, I think, in order to do well in this event. I'm thinking probably like 40 pounds a day just because there's so many fish biting, you know? So. That's the midday midday update. I want to check in, let you guys know that. So here we are, getting ready to move spots. Keep looking, find some more juice holes. Put them Garmin electronics to use. I'm gonna do some idling. Seems that the fish are kind of gravitated towards brush a little bit. So I'm gonna start idling, see if I can find a few brush piles. Mm. Alright, more updating. So I went shallow and I wasn't surprised there's a lot of fish on beds. So this is gonna be a tricky one. Got fish in all stages. Got fish post-spawn and spawn mainly. I don't I don't know if there's any fish that are pre-spawn still. Water's right around 70, so I think they're done, but pre-spawning. Um, but man, there's a lot of fish on beds. I went in one pocket and I seen about eight. I, that's significant. The thing is, I don't want to waste a lot of time sight fishing 
and some of them are bigger fish three and four pounds I mean those are really really good fish but man you might sit on one for an hour and, and before you catch it and the way this lake's fishing that's just not gonna be a little good look these guys are gonna catch catch the fire out of some smallmouth and some Kentucky spotted bass and so I'm leaning towards doing that but in the back of my mind I'm thinking I might start on these bedding bass and not try to sight fish them but just cast to them like a floating worms or a, a, or my pop bar or my yellow magic what it really is I'm thinking I'm thinking I can get some some fish to commit on that thing first thing in the morning and they're gonna be better than average fish you know over two pounds and so I think that'll help too but man we need to catch 15 fish per period would be my guess so stay tuned let's see what we do Two and three quarters. Yeah. Burning lots of gas running around. We're looking for them. It's later in the day, it's about lunchtime, and uh, we're checking some of these offshore points and underwater humps and stuff like that. There seems to be a few fish on them. Not the concentration that I'd like to see, but there's some fish on them for sure. fish down there. It's a little graphic now. But it's gonna, uh, this is probably gonna be our highest weight tournament, to be honest, so far this year. You know, I, I hope I catch them. You know how that goes. Um, but you just never know, man. I think, you know, the weights are gonna be pretty insane this week. Some bites jerking, which I, you know, I expected that with the clear water, smallmouth. Been jerking these really flat gravel points. Been catching some decent fish, anyways. But I just don't know if there's enough bites like that to do well in a tournament. I don't know. I really think it's going to take 40 pounds a day to make the cut. Uh, we'll see. It's going to be really good. I think it's going to be our highest, you know, weight tournament yet. So want to check back in and let you guys know what's going on right now we're looking at Ned rig TRD drop shot just some finesse worms uh, jerk bait a popper and a walking style bait in the morning for schooling fish and that's really it I mean I got a bunch of other things tied on but you know that's really all that's getting bit for me consistently so uh, we might hit a few more spots for it's time to get out of here and that's gonna be it I'll see you guys tournament morning So initially, you know, the plan was I was gonna throw a bunch of finesse baits, you know, like this here I'm rigging up, my TRD. It's hard to beat in these clear water impoundments, especially when these fish are post spawn like this. Um, but looking at the weather, they're forecasting 30 mile an hour winds. 
Um, that's gonna change a lot. That's gonna change a lot. So on like my drop shots, on my TRDs, I'm gonna have to go with a heavier head, a heavier Wu tungsten weight on my drop shots, and I'm probably gonna I'm gonna rig up some baits that I haven't even thrown in practice, like shallow running crankbait, like an MR6, you know, baits like that that I hadn't even considered throwing, but now that conditions are changing, I'm gonna have to rig those up because you gotta fish the conditions. That's one thing that's very, very important as a professional angler. You know, it's easy to want to go fish on history. You got bit on this, you got bit on that, let's go do that. But the reality of it is you gotta fish the moment. And so when Mother Nature throws 30 mile an hour wind, you gotta roll with that. And so, you know, I'm gonna be ready for whatever she might have. <clears throat> tying it tying it all on. So we at the house, re-rigged, and this is what we got going on. Yes, sir. Got some chicken legs, got some corn on the cob, and we got some zucchini in that aluminum foil. So this week we on the we on the gas. A little different than what I'm used to. You know, I like I'm a charcoal guy. But hey, we make that gas work too. Gonna get us a nice little meal tonight. Me and Jay Wills out here on the on the balcony just chilling. Marky Mark. Having ourselves a brewski. Killing the game. Yeah. Look, look, got a pool cable back there. It's, it's a legit hey, spot. That's a, that's a dang, that's a dang grill full of food. That's a lot of food. We got a lot of we got a lot of men. We got men, women, and children. Oh, you good, big dog. Hey, I think we all scared if you cook, Wills. <laughs> we, we, I'm just messing with you, bro. I know you can get out. That's right. <laughs> you the only smart one. Me and DC, we still learning. We still trying to figure it out. Right. Says deep chisel.